Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, welcome to another video um, of For Coffee, Music, and Jesus. Uh, we're about to hit we're about to hit Friday here, and the time this video is recorded, it's actually Thursday night. So looking forward to the weekend. Hope you guys, what do you guys all have planned for the weekend? You know, you got anything exciting you're going to be doing? Um, I've got you know I've got a little bit of a I've got another like a media reaction we'll call it a, a, a video here. There's um, something going around on Instagram that I've seen that a little bit concerning, and I wanted to give my thoughts on that. And um, so let's get into that here, and you guys will see why this is a little bit alarming to me here in just a second. This is uh, from an account called uh, oops called a. Uh, uh, deconstruction girl is the account so clearly she you know she was as you can see from like you know um, you know ex evangelical and stuff here she she was a Christian or she said that she was claimed to be a Christian and then fell out of the faith she was a Mormon actually apparently um, ex Mormon which may have something to do with that but um, yeah we'll see here um, so Evangelicalism is evangelicalism is unreformable because any way you slice it, the primary belief is that child sacrifice saved the world. Um, my first thought on that, child sacrifice, like where do you read anything in the gospel and think child? Like, yeah, I mean, Jesus was the son of God, but son and child like are not the same thing. Um, like that just there's some logic there that just does not make sense like how do you read the same thing that i read and get that um i'm looking at the comments here like it, it is pretty clear that there there are some some hardened hearts here even like you're know, looking down in the the comments on this if i can scroll through scroll through here I was looking through some of these comments on it earlier, and it's pretty clear that um, there are some people that just, well, I mean, even, you know, in looking at some of these tags and stuff in it, too, um, it it does seem very clear that, yeah, there it goes. See, looking through here, um, people basically laughing at it. Well, there's, you know, there's a Christian in there trying to, you know, preach the truth and the gospel in there, so that's good, but um, kind of have to have an open heart to be able to see that, but talking about, you know, like, um, you know, <laughs> religious trauma and stuff, um, you know, those may stumble upon this Instagram to follow it, uh, you know, pray for me. Okay, so clearly there there's some trauma here. Like, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff, honestly, and a lot of what probably led to this mindset here is, like, people in the church that are being, you know, hypocritical or bad experiences with people, not, like, actually with Jesus himself. Um, that, like, I kind of getting blinded, you know, kind of getting blinded to the actual love and stuff of the cross, like, the literal love in the cross, because you're seeing, you're not able to see through the people, which... I get it, like, there is actually, there's an author called, um, Brennan Manning, and this is a song in, uh, this, this is the beginning of the song, uh, What If I Stumble by, uh, by DC Talk, which is, which is a great song, by the way, but there's a quote at the beginning of the song by the author Brennan Manning, um, where he basically says this, the greatest single cause of atheism in the world today is Christians who acknowledge, acknowledge Jesus with their lips and walk out the door and deny him by their lifestyle. That is what, when, that is what an unbelieving world simply finds unbelievable. So, yeah, um, not being able to see, see the forest through the trees basically is the scripture that comes to mind on that. Like, um, we kind of you know we, we can look at like in james it, it james is a it is where i would look at scripture for um an example you're kind of in in how in how to handle this whole thing like uh, the mentality that we have to have uh do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves do what it says anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like so the bible spoke on that like you've got to want to see it to actually be able to see it so yeah i mean clearly 
it, I mean, do you guys? I mean, do you do you guys agree with, with what I'm saying here? Like, does that is that what you're seeing in this as well? Like, hurt heart basically. Um, like looking at this, another point I was going to make here earlier, I kind of forgot to make is um, any any of you that like that do like history or you know like the history in I know that you know apologetics is a big thing that I like to study and, and look into read up on kind of as a little bit of a hobby um one thing that that I wanted to mention here about Jesus as well is you know technically the scripture doesn't does not give an age for Jesus but history does say that he was about 30 33 when he was crucified and he was born around uh, he was born around 4 BC, so he was crucified around 29 AD. So clearly not a child. There's just some you know like some big historical issues there there with that whole thing. Um, but anyway, yep. So we obviously, I mean, we do need to pray not only for these people that they will have you know have open hearts, but. You know, I mean, anybody that's, that's around us, like, you know, if you know somebody that has this kind of mentality, um, you know, kind, kind of got to ask that question to ask them, you know, like, are you, is it, you know, are you open to seeing the truth? Do you want to see the truth? Like, if I could show you, um, if I could show you the truth about Jesus or show you, you know, where Jesus has impacted my life, like, would you actually listen to it or do you not want to see it? Get them thinking, get those wheels turning. Um, but before we do that, we need to pray for the Holy Spirit to work in them. Because we can't change their hearts. Like we, we also want to make sure that we are winning. Trying to win the person, not the argument, which is something that I do struggle with. But anyway, um, do you have you know anybody in your life that you've you know you've uh, you, you've seen this happen with? Um, that you maybe need to reach out to. You know what you want to you want to pray about that. Also, if you guys do see anything like this, you know, like pictures like this or anything, memes as as we'll call them, or pictures where um, that you want to get my opinion on or see kind of like how scripture relates to them put those down in the comments and send them to me in a direct message you know whatever and i'll be definitely look at those and i look forward to i do i do enjoy the challenge i like looking at, at stuff and kind of seeing different pe people's different perspectives on, on things it helps us to kind of learn how to you know how, how to tell other people how to approach people that might think differently than us which is something obviously we need to be able to do so yeah. Um, anyway, that's that's all I've got f for you guys with this one. I will. Um, I, I I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, also, don't forget, by the way, to uh, to subscribe to Coffee Music and Jesus. Um, and I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Um, go out and um, show uh, show Jesus in the world. Be be difference makers. And see you guys soon.